Hi lovelies, how's everybody doing today? First, I want to say I am so sorry for missing an action last Thursday. Uh, it was kind of stressful last Thursday. We were going, we're going through a lot, but what do you know? So, uh, I'm recording on my phone again because my batteries are dead on my nice cameras. Yay. Um, this week is week 29, I believe. I'm getting to my book here. Got a few things to talk about. First, I'm wearing a short hair wig. I think I wore it for you guys once. I'm trying it again. Short hair is not my style, but I'm trying to make it work. If I'm going to invest money in this wig, I'm trying to make it work. I mean, it's not bad, but it just it doesn't seem to like fit. <laughs> sad news. My hair is sad. I am forced to cut it. Um, hold on. I'm going to show you guys something. I, I don't want to take it off. I really don't. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to take it off. I'll take a picture and show it to you guys. Hold on a second. This is not edited, so you get all funny angles. You like my angles? <laughs> anyway, I have a headband to kind of calm down the puffiness at the top. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe put a clip here? Yeah, that makes it look worse. Anyway... Uh, short hair is definitely not my style, but I'm going to wear it because I paid money for it. So to all the haters and judges out there, psh, what up? I know I look so beautiful. Like totally. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So I had to my stats real quick and then we have some things to talk about. Uh, I was sleeved. I had the gastric sleeve surgery July 2nd of 2015. My highest recorded weight was 245, and that's when I was pregnant with my kids. Uh, I got down to 220, and I stayed at 220 for a good 10 years. Uh, in between 220 and 225, I just couldn't lose the weight. I've tried all sorts of diets and personal trainers and nutritionists, and I would lose it maybe 10 pounds, but very quickly gained it back. Going through so much stress, I could see why. Um, so... I decided to go for the weight loss surgery, the sleeve, gastric sleeve surgery, and that was my starting weight. So I had the, I lost 12 pounds on my pre-op diet, and my surgery weight was 208. The first month I lost 20 pounds, and then every month after that I've been averaging about 7 pounds a month, which is okay. I mean, that's a slow losing pace. I think it's medium. I don't think it's slow, but it's not fast. So it's like in between medium uh, loss. Uh, two weeks ago when I came at you, um, I was 161, I think. Uh, I got down to 150s, which was exciting. Um, last week I was 154, so giving the whole month of December another 7 pounds. Ugh, what? <laughs> I'm, I guess that's my lucky number, seven. Um, I keep losing seven pounds per month. I'm hoping I'm losing another seven pounds this month. I'm at a stall. So last week I was 154, and then, or two weeks ago I was at 154. This week I'm at, I don't know, guys. I'm getting all confused here. So in the beginning, let me go to my weeks because I'm at my monthly. That'll help. Um, week 26, I was 154. Week 27, 153.8. Week 28, which was last week, was 151.6. And this week, I'm at 150, that was my son, 151.8. So I gained two ounces. But, however, every time I check the scale, I'm up to 153, then 152, then 151, then back up to 153. So I'm in this little two-pound two pound range stall and I'm going not again not another stall this is ridiculous so I, I've been waiting for so long to get to my first goal which is 145 and I'm so close to being to my first goal and I keep getting stuck so uh, 151 it is this week in fact I just stepped on the scale and was back up to 153 but I'm going with my lowest weight it's probably because I've already eaten today and had, uh, you know, things to eat and I'm wearing clothes. Usually I weigh in the morning without clothes on. So uh, I'm going to stick with 151, even though right now it says 153 for my weight. 
Uh, anyhow, um, I am going to talk to you about uh, what to eat while you are out and about and you're traveling. And we always have that excuse, oh, I have nowhere to eat. I'm going to go to fast food and eat. Well, let me tell you something. I'm a traveler. I travel a lot between to from home to the hospital every week. Every single week I travel to the hospital due to my son's treatments that he has to have. And I don't have time to cook and I don't have time to make healthy foods. And so I came up with this menu um, that if I were to eat out anywhere that I can eat certain things. And um, the lesser of the evils out of the menu. So like Taco Bell. I can eat the pintos and beans and cheese. And uh, that's beans. It's protein right there. Cheese and beans are protein. So if you're going to go to Taco Bell, eat the beans, cheese, and meat. Then, um, at Burger King, you can have a side salad with a bottle of water. Um, most fast foods have salads, so you can get salads. Jack in the Box, um, I can eat uh, their salads. Oh, I'm um, backtrack. At Taco Bell, though, they have a cantina bowl, and the cantina bowl is chicken and salad, and it's a, it's a chicken salad, and it's amazing. You can even add steak if you want. So steak is protein, salad, p tomatoes. Um, they have all sorts of things at Taco Bell in that cantina bowl that you can eat. Uh, I've eaten at Wendy's. I eat their chili at Wendy's. I've eaten their uh, salads at Wendy's. I went to Carl's Jr., and I got the tostada bowl without the tostada. So they put it in a plastic bowl, but with all the makings of the tostada bowl. And it was absolutely delicious. And I was guilt-free, guys. I felt very safe, safe enough that I wasn't guilty to uh, have to feel like, oh my God, I'm going to fast food again. I'm eating uh, raunchy and you know disgusting. And actually, no, you can find something while you're out and about and you're traveling. You could find something. You could go to any restaurant. You can order a salad with tomatoes. Um, if you're at that stage, if you're at an earlier stage, it might be a little bit harder because um, for me, when I was traveling, I didn't really eat much. All I did was, in my beginning stages, all I did was drink these and my Power Crunch protein bars. And to this day, that's what I have every morning for breakfast. I have, I mean, this is still half full. I have half of this. And then I have a, a pretty much almost a whole bar. I had three quarters of a Power Crunch bar. And Power Crunch bars are delicious because they're crunchy like a cookie, like a wafer cookie. So I recommend those Power Crunch bars. Sorry, I'm very distracted by this reflection in my glasses. And that's what keeps me turning my head. Let me get rid of this computer. My um, time is going really fast here. I'm already at eight minutes. Oh, gee, I don't want to bore you guys to death. But... Uh, uh, hair loss is horrible. Traveling is been decent. My I, clothes are fitting. I'm still at a size 8. I can't fit in a size 12. They want to fall off. Um, however, things look good. Things are still doing good. I'm still feeling healthy. I'm still losing a lot of sleep, but it's because of our situation. Um, I am exercising a lot more, so maybe that's why I'm at a stall because it's I'm gaining muscle. This whole week I've been doing that 30-day challenge, so every day I'm doing something. I'm just not recording it. I'm still doing the 30-day challenge. Um, I'm exercising. I'm taking walks. I'm doing cardio. Um, you know, so I I just I don't know why. That's the only thing I can think of. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of Gatorade, but I don't drink regular Gatorade. Regular Gatorade has a ton of sugar. G2 is probably my favorite. I can drink any flavor but red. Red fruit punch, ugh, is too disgusting. So I get orange, grape. I love the green, the lime. Those are my favorites. And it's half the sugar than regular. A regular Gatorade is like 28 grams of sugar, 24 to 28 grams of sugar. This one is, only has 12 grams of sugar and 12 carbs. So um, if I feel like I'm a little bit dehydrated, extra dehydrated, and I can't get that water down, I will pick up the Gatorade and drink the Gatorade. Um, that's something that um, 
does help help me a lot and it does keep me regular on going to the bathroom speaking of the bathroom issue has been an issue uh, I have now result to taking stool softeners straight up stool softeners you could forget that Miralax and all the other specialty items straight up stool softeners guys that's what I've come it's come down to and that's all I can really um, um, use that really helps a lot everything else just takes too long to start working and my stomach's in pain so stool softeners work right away so I recommend straight up stool softeners that helps a lot and take abundance of amount of it because um, if you only like take one or two I don't think it really helps as far as vitamins go I struggle on vitamins all the time um, truth is I have a hard time getting my vitamins down I'm still trying to get it all in and I think to be honest with ourselves, I think all of us struggle with vitamins. Um, we Nobody's perfect, and I don't think any of us can get every single vitamin down all the time. It's been rough. I get full off of vitamins, so that is like a meal replacement for me. So I have to, like, separate them out. I'll take, like, my biotin pills one time and then an hour later I'll take something else then an hour later so throughout the day I'm popping pills and I've never been a pill popper my whole entire life so this is kind of a new situation for me so I have a rough time taking them um, other than that let's see is there anything else I need to talk about uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about but I can't remember um, Hey, if uh, you are a new subscriber, hello, thank you so much for subscribing. I truly appreciate you uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, sorry, I've been missing in action. My plan is, now that I'm going to be home more often, is to make bariatric recipes and put them online on this channel and give ideas out to people that um, you could make simple at home and make enough and keep them in the freezer and microwave them later down in, in, the, on, in the road. So, um... I've got that in plans. Hopefully I could get to it. I still want to do another Google Hangout talking about certain subjects. So that's also in plans. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to get past this month because he started a new treatment. Once we get past that, I'm home more often. I could do all these new things. So anyhow, uh, got to get that haircut. I don't want to. My poor hair is so sad. It's so thin. I have no hair left, guys. I mean, up here is a lot thicker, but trying to... I mean, I'm talking, this is how much hair I have left. That's it. That's my long strand. I'm not joking. That's just how much I have left. When you brush it out, it's pretty sad. I didn't think that I was going to have a problem with hair loss, and I probably had the worst of the worst of the worst of hair loss. It sucks. So, anyway, this video is way too long. I'm sorry I talked your head off. I hope I was interesting enough that you guys made it all the way through. If you made it all the way through, give a thumbs up and let me know down in the bottom uh, that you made it all the way through. <laughs> Any questions, comments, let me know. I'd love to chat with you guys. I have a YouTube, Facebook group, specifically weight loss surgery for YouTubers and those who had weight loss surgery. It's in the description down below. I also have a second channel called Mom's Vlog 80. I daily vlog every day on that channel. Go check it out. Subscribe. Hang out with our family. Find out the updates with my son and see what we're doing. And uh, we love to do YouTube every day. That's, that's my job. That's what I do. So anyway, I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Ciao.